All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Otaku Wolf is back once again to react, to amuse, and to share with all of you. Quick reminder before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Your support's appreciated. All right, sorry it has been a while since I did this, but I am back to Ruby Chibi. To a, right now we are going to do episodes 10, 11, and 12. Of an, actually, to be honest, after the last episode of Ruby, I really need some soul cleansing. It's called the world's greatest head massage. I got tingles the moment you should. Gavin and I have basically the same ASMR. What's that called? Huh. Triggers. We're about to fly halfway across the world to India for a 15 minute head rub. Interesting. Something happens that triggers nerves and you feel it. Boy, I missed a lot back in the day. Ribby and Chibi! Uh, hey, Weiss. Hello, Jean. So, I uh, was just wondering if maybe you'd want to study for the exam together. Maybe we could compare notes? Ooh. I'm actually more productive when studying on my own. Sorry. Maybe another time. Or not. Ooh. Hello, Jean! Hey, Pira. You know, if I recall, we have that exam coming up. Do you need a study partner? Because I'm free. Right now. If you want. Oh, thanks, Pira, but I think I'm just gonna study on my own for a bit. Maybe later. Oh, oh man. Of course. Maybe later. I shipped those two. Why, hello, Pira. I couldn't help but notice how well you did on our last exam. Perhaps we could study for this next one together. I believe the two smartest girls in class could easily handle whatever Ublik has to throw at us. Right. Um... Perhaps another time. Drop! <laughs> if only they could see what's right in front of them. Yeah! Pot, meat, kettle. <laughs> Notice me! Hey, Luge, why? <laughs> there are paintings, why? And, well, of course, why is a top notch hunts. Huntsman. And so why not? He is... He's the best. Hey! That's good. Tur as far as finger painting goes, that that's actually nice. Hmm. <laughs> effort. But effort she made him the kitty cat! She made Zwei the kitty cat. He looks good as kitty cat. Yes. Hmm. Beautiful. Of course, Ren has the best. As he does... Hang on. Honestly, is there anything he can't do? Oh, Besides notice Nora. Hint, hint. And... Done. No. What? You don't like it? You don't understand mm -mm. my vision! <laughs> it's a butt. Then I can do anything. Curl, cut, prep, floss? No! No, 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 no. Sure. No! Come on, Ren! We like you like you as you are! Come on! No! Don't let her mess with the dew! How about one of these? And... Done! Hmm? I look exactly the same. Subtlety is the key. Turn around. Right. I've seen this thing a thousand... I know it! Okay. Yeah. I've seen scenarios like that a thousand times. There's always... It's always on the back of the head. It's always on the back of the head. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Next episode. Episode 11. Miss 
this? How did I miss that? Whippy chippy! Ooh, pancakes. Wren, of course. We're getting a lot of Wren. We've gotten a, quite a bit of Wren these last couple of episodes. Oh, those look delicious. Ruby? Nora? Did you take the pancakes? Don't take your eyes off. Alright, it just... <laughs> and they're gone. It's either... It's gotta be either Ruby or Nora. Because uh, they're the only two I know. Because Ruby's fast enough and Nora... Nora just defies the laws of physics. Old school, but still works. Jeez, Nora. There's the syrup. Yummy. What's the point? You didn't drink it? What are you gonna do? I'll come over here to your right ear. Nora? <laughs> I love it. Yo, Weiss, we're about to go do something funny. Do you wanna. Weiss, are you okay? Sick. Need medicine. Uh... You got it! I know exactly what you need. I'll be right back. Come right back. All right, I've got you everything you'll need. A warm glass of whole milk. My favorite video game, Kung Fu Ninja Slayer Ultimate Death Battle 2. Ah, oh, you're right. The first one was way better. And finally, a motivational cat poster. Meow. Ruby, please. I don't need this. I need medicine. What? Nah, this is the stuff my dad used to do for me when I was sick. It would always make me feel better. <clears throat> Yang, please. I'm sick. I need... Oh, I'll go get the whole milk. <laughs> yeah. Sisters. <laughs> What was I just about to say? Just a second. Clear! <coughs> oh, right. 
Um, that was very interesting what Jean was doing. I wonder if it's any similar to what I'm doing. Also, those pancakes. And it's evening. Ang and I'm all of a sudden hungry. And I just had dinner. Oh well. Episode 12. Let me guess, you guys were bored. Oh, now you've done it! Why don't I learn? And now, Team Ruby presents an original stage play entitled Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was an adorable girl who went by the name of Little Red Riding Hood. What is, is that Ozpin? Loved by many and known for her colorful hood. Is that Ozpin's voice? On a very important mission. To deliver baked goods to her dear sweet grandmother. Yeah, we tried to put her in a home, but she wasn't having it, so gotta go feed her. Hey, Red, make sure to bring Grandma some produce this time. These old legs can't ride on chocolate chips alone. Yay, this is a new scene! And these aren't even real glasses. Hey, oh! <laughs> uh, amateurs. But as she frolicked through the woods to her grandmother's cottage, she came across a creature who had more sinister intentions. <laughs> A big bad wolf. Really? Okay. Why am I the wolf? And why am I flying? Duh, because you're half animal. This part was made for you. What about Zwei? Zwei? He's the stagehand. Plus, the wolf's a bad guy, and you can't be mad at that face. True. I can do that with that face. <laughs> the big bad wolf wanted to gobble up Little Red and her treats, but she had made one terrible mistake. Little Red Riding Hood was a trained warrior with a deadly mechanical scythe. It's also a gun. Is that a prop or... Step off, Wolfie! And so, the big bad wolf decided to <laughs> retreat. Uh, right. But the wolf wasn't going to give up that easily. She had a plan. Sea change! You make a good stage, hands why? She took a shortcut to Little Red's grandmother's house. She found the old woman sleeping soundly in her bed. Um... Yay! Did somebody say grandma? <laughs> You're looking good for your age. I work out. Uh, aren't you supposed to be in bed? Who's got time for sleep when I prepared this great song and dance number? And a one, and a two. Stop <laughs> upstaging everyone and get in the bed! This is my one scene! Get off my back! Just get in bed, Grandma. Easy there, Wolfie. You haven't even bought me dinner yet. <laughs> oh, man! Okay, I'm just gonna move this along and eat her. And just like that, oh, the big bad wolf gobbled the grandmother up. There. You're done. Oh, woe is me! I was too young to die! Despite what many thought, seeing as I was a grandmother. <laughs> Thank you. The disguised herself as Little Red's grandmother, then laid in bed, waiting to ambush the unsuspecting child. Hi, Grandma. Thanks for the birthday cards. Dad told me to bring you food. Now, the wolf needed only to draw Little Red closer. Hey, come closer. But as the young girl drew near, she noticed something was wrong. Gee, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Wow, what an insensitive thing to say to your loved ones. And what big ears you have! You know I'm really self-conscious about them. Oh. Thanks for bringing it up. And Grandma, what big teeth you have! Okay, you're just a rude little brat. I'm gonna kill you. Whoa! 
insults the red writing hood. Not in front of me! It's one of my favorite stories when I was just a little one. Mm. Huh. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Leave your, your comments down below and I will see you in my next reaction. I love you all and there is nothing you can do about it. Until we meet again, adieu.